All right, let's make some paint. Paint's one of those things that's been pretty inaccessible to a lot of people, but it's really not that bad, especially with some of the new tooling. So one of the big challenges with paint is that every character has their own unique reaction values. And historically, these have been very difficult to test. It's been very manual and error prone and kind of confusing. But back in tail nine, I wrote a new macro called paint by numbers, which automates much of this process. So uh, we're gonna load up paint by numbers here. And what you wanna do is you wanna have five of each of these ingredients in your inventory. If you run out in the middle of it running, it will pause and ask you to go get some more. Um, if you just don't have something because it's really hard to get a hold of, like Falcon's Bait, or right now we just don't have the technology for silver powder, you can uncheck those, but you want to use as much as you can to get the best recipes. For this demonstration, to speed things up, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck everything except um, the metals and uh, the cheap carrots, cabbage juice, and clay here but you're going to want to run with as much as you can, like I said, to get the best recipes. So we're going to begin, and it's going to tell us that it wants to test a pair of ingredients, in this case, cabbage juice and lead. And so I'm going to tell it to test those, and it's going to add them and measure that the red value was 28 lower than it should have been based purely on the averages. So that's our reaction for cabbage juice and lead is negative 28 red. You don't need to write this down. It's going to record all this for you. So then we can hit next and it's gonna clear out the paint lab with that red sand. Uh, you do wanna have like 100 red sand on you. It uses a lot of that for clearing out the paint lab. So um, then it's on to the next pair that it wants to test. And so at this point, I'm just gonna tell it to automatically test everything. It does have to test in both directions. So if you add carrots to cabbage juice, that's not the same as adding cabbage juice to carrots. The order matters. Um, and there are gonna be times where it struggles to, to measure a reaction. So if the reaction it's expecting is red to react and it goes all the way down to zero red, it can't tell how much further past that it would have gone. And sometimes it can figure out an ingredient that it can add to get red back up where it can measure it. But occasionally there are situations where it can't. And in that case, it would be up to you to manually test the reaction. It doesn't happen super often. Um, but if it does, that means you'll have to exclude that ingredient from your recipes or manually test it for the recipes to come out accurately. Manual testing is a tricky thing though, and I'm not gonna get too deep into that topic in this demonstration. If it does fail to test something though, it'll tell you what it test failed to test and you just, both of the ingredients in that pair, you're gonna have to skip in when we get to the recipe part. So uh, it's finished and it's generated this reactions.txt file. And if you're curious, you can open the folder uh, and go to the ATI TD 10 part and pop open that file and see the data it generated. For me, it's missing a lot of data because I only did, uh, you know, clay, carrots, cabbage, copper, etc. So everything I didn't test is not in here. Uh, if it failed to test something, those would be blanks in here as well. So now we need to take these reactions and generate some recipes. So to do that, you're going to start by going to the wiki and going to the paint page. And down at the bottom of the paint page is this desert paint codex section. And there's a download link here. This will take that reaction file and generate paint recipes. So you're going to go to the download link and download it and then you have to extract it. And once you've done that, you can run it. And it has you set up profiles in case you have multiple characters. So I'm gonna use the demo one I've got set up here. And when you first start, it's gonna take you to this experiment log. And this will help you do manual reaction testing if you want to, but we've already done that part automatically ourselves. So we can import that data. So file, profile, and import practical paint and I'm not going to import my little demo one I'm going to go and actually import my full reaction file and it takes us back to this page which looks very similar but you'll see in the completed tests which would have been empty to start with now these are all those reactions that were automatically recorded Everything left in pending tests are things that we didn't test or that just don't react together, like cabbage juice and clay don't have a reaction. Uh, 
So now we can go to the recipe generator. And since even my full reactions don't include silver powder, that's just not available yet. I have to uncheck that. If you weren't able to test with Falcon's bait, you'd want to uncheck that here as well. Or if you had any pairs fail, you want to uncheck the items that were involved in that failed reaction uh, because this has no information on how that reaction is going to work for you and it's not going to be able to generate valid recipes with those ingredients. Everything else on this page you can leave as the defaults. You don't have to mess with any of these settings. They're, they're pretty good. If you want to learn more about them, mess with them, you can, but it's not necessary. And then you're going to hit start and it's going to go through and start generating paint recipes and it does this by testing every combination of ingredients that it can and every time it finds a recipe that's better than your current recipe it's got it's going to replace it so as you can see it's already tested about a million it will run for hours and hours and test well over a billion recipes you don't have to let it run that full time if you've got enough recipes that you're happy with you can stop it but it's just going to keep looking for cheaper recipes based on these costs here. So, you know, like Falcon's Bait, it tries to avoid at all costs, but if it can't make a color of paint without it, it'll use it. So then you've got these recipes um, generating and they're just gonna keep getting better. It's gonna keep finding cheaper and cheaper ones. Something to note is the order matters here.